Greetings everyone, this is Lodwig, this is a game war in the Pacific Admirals Edition. Today we will check the 17th December 1941 in the game and match against Jochen. So, let's see. Last turn, there was not too much activity, but uh, they're very, I know, maybe you can say skillful or luckily hit of the Catalina against one of my light cruisers in the southern sea of Philippines. The light cruiser is uh, uh, very very slow now and I don't know if I can escape. For sure I will not be out of range, striking range of the Catalinas for the next two or three days. Uh, so firstly uh, my crew must uh, try to <coughs> maintain the flotation damage and additionally I must avoid any uh, second strike on my cruiser to maybe uh, secure the ship <laughs> here we have again uh, this is I think this is uh, this mark 10 submarines from the Americans nothing happened here This is a small inv uh, invasion, only picking up all uh, Dutch uh, Navy or base installations. Every base where it's originally a Dutch unit I try to pick up. At the same time I sweeping in Hong Kong the mines to well, simply make Hong Kong uh, ready for operation that I can normally rearm and also maintain my battleships there everything what is uh, uh, smaller than 20,000 tons I can also uh, repair in Saigon but uh, for big battleships or battle cruisers I need Hong Kong or I would always uh, well I mean I must go back to Japan mainland so here we have uh, now heavy damage on the submarine so this is a Mark 14 submarine, one of the better, I think. Uh, it must be already a better submarine from the Americans. And heavy damage is normally, uh, I think, not more possible to dive or at least must return to base. But which base is nearby? So sooner or later, the submarine will sink. But. And uh, on the other side, the American are still not able to really hurt any of my Japanese submarine. So I try to keep my submarine fleet around Pearl Harbor as long as possible, simply only to slow down everything. Here we have now uh, other American submarine with Mark 14s, and luckily avoiding. So always torpedo hit, miss, 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 hit, but no explosion. So. Again, miss, hit, but no explosion. Hit, but no explosion. Yeah, yeah. So if a top, if the submarine can fire all. I don't know, 14 torpedoes or how many he just launched. Then of course uh, somewhere there's one hit maybe. I think four dots, but one torpedo is enough to think this is a small support tanker. Two point ship. Doesn't matter. So I not even give them super support. Firstly I was, uh, not, I was a little surprised that already yeah, submarines are here, but uh, two point ships I don't know if I really must support them. And additionally, this kind of ship had no cargo, so it was empty. But it was maybe the first real success uh, torpedo attack against a tanker in the game, so at least something for you.
And here nothing happened. So, and I split my cruiser formation simply to give the good ships the, the, the order to bombard the base and the damage ship or the damage cruiser plus one support destroyer trying to run away and getting distance. But light cruiser and destroyers are normally often simply ineffective for any kind of bombardment like this so this was normally not my original goal to make here some sh uh, shell bombardment especially at night uh, eight inch uh, i mean five inch shells have simply not enough uh, damage potential so and we can see here this and it was also especially at night at daytime maybe this have more impact but not at day but it was a try because I must leave the area so I won't empty my simply my ammunition and maybe with some luck I would normally hope for maybe damage some Catalinas to have a better retreat chance but no it tells me again don't try use destroyer or like cruiser for this kind of missions you need heavy cruisers battle cruisers battleships that is uh, useful. Yeah, again, I consuming uh, slowly my torpedoes. If it's worse this action, hard to say. It simply give a threat and make it uh, risky to supply um, Pearl Harbor. This is a good cargo ship. Uh, luckily we have here a Dutch submarine with normally good torpedoes, but a torpedo must hit that it can explode. So in this case, uh, the attack failed, luckily. Sometimes you simply need luck. Again, deep water, hard, very hard. So I give my, I hope that my navy bombers can create sooner or later one hit, and one hit is normally enough to create enough damage in most of case to not sink the submarine, but force to return to a base. Here we hopefully can hit a tanker, at least the pilot reports a hit, well, yeah. very unlikely but maybe possible. And I think this was just the scouting of my carrier division in the area of Rabul. I was hoping to avoid this maybe one more turn, uh, up to now I had no sighting or uh, Jochen had no uh, information where is my carrier division and I was hoping to sneak near Rabul and then maybe make a fast movement uh, in the area of Port Mosby but uh, now I am detected and I am still too far away so I don't must burn now my fuel and I think, the, I, think I will only try to maintain my course and uh, force him to retreat this will not uh, sink anything but uh, I will see. So I s use my zeros to maybe be lucky and find this P40 somewhere. And I use my Betty's to soften up uh, Manila. And it was, uh, I would say, 
successful, not damaged, I mean, not many vehicles are destroyed, but disabled. This will make uh, any follow-up attack on my leader city more easy. And that alone is uh, uh, worth this action. Or, or you know, makes this uh, kind of uh, airstrike uh, successful. So one zero can at least uh, uh, engage here some enemy Chinese fighters, but these are only second rank. So these are not the P40s, these are older generation of airframes. They are not so important for me to really kill. The Hawk is always okay. Uh, the I-15 is a completely useless fighter. But if every f airframe I can kill uh, is one airframe less for the Chinese to train the pilots. And train the pilots, I think, is the most important for China. Not to really fight now, but fight in the future. And uh, somehow I use all my zeros to normally sweep, but uh, I was not able to uh, interdict this uh, P-40s and now they are on my unescorted light bombers. Yeah, I will lose now maybe some four, five, six maybe. At least the airstrike was successful. Going through. Again, losing here light bombers is, uh, of course, not nice. But on the other hand, it's also nothing really important. Losing navy bombers, Nell bombers, Betty bombers, uh, dive bombers, Val dive bombers, uh, torpedo bombers, zero fighters. That would really hurt because they're needing much more time in training. And the airframes are for me more important. These are all outdated airframes. Sooner or later I would uh, switch all active uh, bomber formation to twin engine bombers. Key 21, Key 48, uh, all of this kind of thing. I also produce some Key 51, the Sonya, but this is mainly related to that this engine is not more under production. So I have a lot of these engines left over. And uh, so I can produce this airframe. Japan has uh, the problem that, uh, because especially because I use now here the, uh, the restriction in uh, industry development and, and, and technology R&D, so I cannot switch uh, between R&D and production. So the numbers of uh, Factories can produce engines are fixed Or I would maybe Change one or two ND factories uh, to production airframe product uh, air engine production, but this is not possible so uh, I cannot produce enough engines normally to ramp up uh, to get my 500 engine ND bonus so I have enough uh, Factories to be using airframes, but uh, the lack of engines will slow down all air and in the future. So I simply try to produce airframes now. I have not under production, so I consume all outdated engines if possible. And uh, produce new engines that I can get this 500 air and engine bonus sooner or later. But this is uh, every player like the different. Some people they simply don't even try to get this 500 engine bonus stuff because it's uh, need a lot of time. It costs also a lot of supplies first. Uh, it's always this uh, balance act. You want as soon as possible as much uh, power and force out of your factories or you want to invest in future development and maybe after half year you first get a payback for this. Yeah, this is now... I was able to reach the northern end of Cebu Island but now the Catalinas catch up. Again, a dot. If I, this last time I had a dot I had no problems now. And the failed attack. 
you know, again, starboard attack. And the second. And this is too much. Ah, yeah, and now this is Naka go down. So, again, the last attack is always the. The attack uh, kills me. Last day and today. And uh, before, always one torpedo hit, but the, that, uh, but the second hit is always explosion. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Somehow the the Naka had really all the unluck, and I hope that now in the next two months, I nah, not the two months, but let's say the next two weeks, I have not anything like this similar. I need uh, some time to regroup my forces. And I must strike back. I must uh, somehow inflict inflict a lot of damage uh, against the Jochen's uh, remind uh, forces. And here's again a 50 kilogram hit on my destroyer, but uh, luckily I think this will not make really much, not really a lot of damage here. Other light cruiser formation trying to sneak, uh, sneak source and um, help uh, to interdict and uh, find some enemy uh, shipping. But uh, I had here heavy clouds and I thought I was hoping that simply if I fly at the, yeah, at the coastline of Borneo that maybe the range of Singapore is too far. But uh, I saw a trip. I'm out of range of torpedoes maybe, but a uh, 500 pound bomb is still 250 kilogram. Uh, it's, I mean, it lo it's at least not so terrible like a torpedo hit, but it will maybe force me to return. Now also the Blenheims are coming. So even this early in the war to operate uh, navy units without a fighter escort and if the enemy have uh, navy bombers it's very risky and it's really it's, uh, it shows already that it's nearly impossible to operate any navy as that if you, if there's no cap fighters in range. One of these bombs is simply already too much damage to operate the ship in future, so I have now to return and repair. Maybe the damage is not critical, but to operate a crippled or damaged ship in, uh, in hostile uh, sea is uh, simply not a good idea. So the Catalina is coming again. Now I think they are trying to attack the destroyer. Yeah, but luckily the torpedoes fail. Nothing. All torpedoes fail. If my if the Catalinas attack only the destroyer today, then ah, nah, yeah. But of course, the Catalinas why they would not attack the crippled cruiser makes sense. So we have here again some I-15s. I mean, nothing really important here, but. Uh, Kill them if you can, get some, create here a new Japanese ace maybe. Fast, two airframes are dead, the last one. <coughs> Only damage, not a clean kill is important. But the last one, now yeah, at least two. But the reports say only one. But normally both are dead.
more scouting, more detection. Yeah, my Tojo still try to find something, but hard. Oh, the Catalinas are coming back. Now the Catalinas have only bombs, so all the torpedoes are already consumed. And the uh, landed bomb hit is, uh, I would say, much more hard than a torpedo strike. But uh, I don't know, destroyers are always hard to hit. So I was hoping to lure out. Uh, some of uh, the bombers from Soabaya to simply wipe them out and they have here in future less resistance and at least some Dutch uh, airframes attack me here. I was normally hoping for more but maybe it's okay because I have not so much uh, fighter force here now So I wouldn't normally kill here now this uh, Dutch buffaloes or cripple them, damage them and maybe hope for, hope for some ops losses. And then this Dutch bombers uh, but, uh I don't know, it, maybe I was a little unlucky. Uh, the strike was successfully in uh, penetrating my cap fighters. Not exactly why so easily. Before I was uh, more successful in uh, kill them before they even uh, reached the target. But now yeah, can happen. Oh. So it, on the way out uh, we kill them. Oops. But now, yeah, now they are more or less all dead. And uh, they score no hit. But they are coming back again. But this time without a uh, fighter f escort. And this will normally make it more easy for me to... Uh, yeah. Get rid of them. But I really must bring my uh, carriers back in the port and uh, replace the cloud fighters against zeros. I mean, the cloud fighters was not bad. The pilots are really good, but these two light machine guns are simply only two light machine guns. No one can change this. And I damage you now maybe every damn fight. Ah, at least I can break the enemy attack. If this is now good or bad, I don't know. And all the wildebeest. So all the Dutch bombers are coming. And luckily they're coming one by one. Again, only damage. At least I can force the enemy escort fighter to return.
Weil der Score hier nur Hit. In time is always against the defender. So many attacks, so many bullets used, but simply not a, a zero would simply attack, score a hit and have a kill, but the clouds always, nothing happened, nothing happened, ah yeah, now one kill. So now the way is free to attack the wildebeest bombers, but the escort fighters uh, uh, cost me a lot of time. Now I hope the zero will simply kill most of the wildebeest. This is going in, get a kill. Yeah. So my cloud fighters was busy with the enemy escort and the zero only was able to kill one and damage one. This is normally not enough. But the wildebeest looks like a little unwilling to it score a hit luckily. Yeah. It looks like that the uh, No, all nine wildebeest hits torpedoes. Hmm, but no score. So maybe the pilot simply had not enough training. Oh, more! Oh, shitty. But without escort. This is normally what I need. No escort, wildebeest, easy kills. Fighters are not in the best, the best position or the best uh, mood to kill here today. Other days it was more successful. Uh, and my zero completely. Yeah, critical hit, but only damage. So I can only hope that the wildebeest are simply have no training and they don't know what they're doing. And so far it looks like.
Ah, yeah. I don't know. My cap was really not a good cap to stay, but uh, this uh, the day was saved by uh, incompetence on the. I don't know. These are British pilots. Maybe. Not one percent sure if they are now British or Dutch. I think they are British, but no. So some swatches. What fish? But they're using only bombs, luckily, and no hit. Good. Could be more worse. Now here are all my zeros. I have maybe had too much escort fighters, but uh, on the other hand, if I don't have enough, uh, hmm. yeah. I hope my 16 zeros can wipe out the uh, enemy uh, cap. Did my dive bombers have easy life? But uh, if I don't send out my dive bombers today and keep my zeros up, I would maybe have more success. If I kill all the enemy uh, torpedo bombers, I would have in the future a more easy life. Oh, yeah. But killing enemy cap fighters is also good uh, so I can strike with my own uh, bombers in the future more easily without any fear so 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 i simply hope that the zeros can now change the day and uh, win some air battles here And uh, this is a uh, this are the British buffaloes and this is the Dutch buffaloes, but I think they are both buffaloes. And uh, the difference is only I don't know what. Of course, and maybe the British they have two light machine guns and two heavy machine guns, or they have armor and the Dutch they don't have armor, something like this. Uh, from all, but the biggest difference is I think the pilot quality. The D Dutch pilots have the lowest skills. The British have at least some skills, but uh, over in Singapore, they have all the British uh, buffaloes had no chance against the zero. And the hawk is maybe out of this airplane the best one. Uh, one of my zeros must return. Yeah, I not really like that I don't get here the kills, only all this damage, damage, damage. Especially if I'm uh, over the hex of a Soa Vaya and every pilot simply uh, 
Yeah, in worst case, maybe crash landing and everything is fine. I mean, the, the airframe in best case is de destroyed, but the pilot is fine. I need your kills. Also, do have uh, some good uh, news for the for the news back in Japan. I need some heroes in this battle against the evil empires of America, the slave traders of the Dutch, and the tea drunken British uh, poster boys. damage to less kills. I mean these are buffaloes, normally they are no match. Especially with the shitty pilots. But maybe this is maybe not the best turn for me. I mean I would say all the British torpedo bombers are more shitty. They are maybe the most shitty here today. Because they don't score any hit. Uh, but my cap fighters and my zero fighters are also just so so today only. But maybe I can turn you a little bit on. So the most of the British pilots just give up and you return to Surabaya. Make it more easy to finish this uh, strike here. Break the enemy cap. So that my dive bombers can detect whatever ship is here in the port. Or outside of the port in the heck. Buffalo's coming, but now they're the British. Oh, they take my oh. She took. It. So the cap fighters uh, was able to outmaneuver my zeros. Mm. Oh. Oh, 
Aber sie ist kein Hebel. Luckily, the only one gets damaged, not destroyed. So far. Okay, but now all the buffaloes have an engine problem or other maintenance problem. And luckily no dive bomber gets uh, killed. Okay. And we have here a medium sized tanker. I don't know, maybe 10 point, 15 point tanker. And at least we create a one hit. But no cargo burning, so it looks like this, this tanker is empty. Oh, the tankers was full before. And uh, three bomb hits already. Of course, this is so a buyer, there's a shipyard directly. But four bomb hits is maybe too much. Now the ship is maybe a wreck. And hit number five. So most of my dive bombers gets damaged, but lucky no one really gets killed, and the tanker is a burning wreck. So if it's not sinking immediately, it's a, a crippled ship. And there is something sinking and it's not uh, Japanese, so I would say the tanker just put down. Oh, one of my destroyers have some portation problems. Not good. Again, sub attack, but failure. But also my destroyers cannot find the target. Now it's a Japanese submarine, but no really. Same, again and again. So I land my forces in the next base here, in the west northern part of Borneo, simply to pick up everything, base by base. And I have some landing accidents. But yeah, can happen. Okay, and now we have the tank battle of Manila. Oh, luckily, or well, not luckily, strangely. American tanks against Japanese tanks. And normally everyone may go with Joker about the Japanese tanks. We will see how this ends here. Hello, my misguided friends. This is your number one enemy, Orphan Anne, from Radio Tokyo. With another blow to your morale and some music to console you. Today, the Imperial government announced that the ever-victorious forces of the Japanese Empire have captured Manila. So, it was a clean victory for Japan with, looks like only one tank losses, some disabled. But uh, totally destroyed the uh, American tank division or tank tank regiments, platoons. Okay, battalion battalions, not platoons. Okay. So the American tanks, uh, American tanks. I don't know what they have here. M threes maybe. This is no only a cleanup operation behind the line. Some Chinese call against the Japanese division. And uh, also, yeah, yeah, the Chinese core is now half empty. The Japanese division only, yeah, no losses at all. This is one of the Dutch uh, 
small bases everywhere around of this uh, island change. Only make sure that they cannot operate the submarines, that cannot operate any scout planes and so on and so on. This is normally the end of the day. So, we arrived at the 18th December. And uh, the air losses are mm, equally in the air two flag losses but uh, Jochen lost a lot of airframes by operational losses or maybe reflect damage or whatever so 17 of this uh, Dutch buffaloes are written off and more most of them are simply op losses I lost a lot of this Sonia I produce this kind of airframe and uh, so I can replace them and uh, they're using old engines, so I, this is really no issue for me. This is four of this medium, uh, also Dutch bombers. Not so important, but three wildebeest are also destroyed. This will help me. Three is not enough. Normally I would have here normally six, seven, eight, but I uh, have yeah, three at least. And some I-15s, they are not important. And the rest is the old small stuff. And... Uh, one of the dive bombers uh, was damaged and on the way returned to the base uh, reached not the base so he was damaged on the attack not killed immediately but he cannot return to base and then the game say it's still a air to air losses so uh, but if the airplane arrive at the carrier and make a crash landing then it's the op losses so the difference I think and it must be similar to with the zero. Also, I had, I think, no kill on it of a zero, but I had a damaged one. And then it's try return to the carrier, but never arrive at the carrier, and then it's lost. Yeah, so it is. So 28 to 14, so I can kill still double, but of course, most is the Dutch stuff and not so important. So, but of course, it's not so bad. 14 airframes lost, and out of 14 airframes, I have now six killed pilot and three mission uh, missing in action. And unluckily, this one pilot with a zero was a four kill pilot with 80 experience, so it was a lead pilot. So one of this very, 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 very unluckily stuff. So the one of the the best pilots in the war, at least so far, gets killed today. Uh, a black day for the Japanese fighter force and the Japanese Navy also had a bad day today because uh, official now the Naka is dead the most valuable ship I lost in this game so far I think yeah in Dojo's game I only lost destroyers and sub I don't know I think only destroyers in submarines yeah but uh, never a cruiser Right, okay, it's only a light cruiser. Still, I can only replace three or four of them. Uh, so early on. But okay, can happen. The Allies, they lost today, I think, not so much. This is most of the stuff is only destroyed in uh, Manila. Uh, all damage at day one, more or less. Uh, uh, yeah, only this ship. This uh, we sunk uh, or at least heavily damaged so much that it's uh, now also dead. It was one of the few uh, submarines can uh, leave uh, port uh, the Manila. And uh, you can also see because the, all of the submarines are normally the same. They are all the shark class. I think they're all shark class. Sal yeah, salmon class. Salmon class, yeah, okay, at least this two ships, so You can see these are seven and these are eight and I think the difference is because uh, they are scuttled in Malila and 
I think you, I thought you get only half of the victory points for this, but maybe there's other calculation. But uh, because they're all normally Zarko glass. Oh, my, uh, because I thought only there's one big difference between this. This are this older S class uh, short range torpedo boats based on the Mark 10 torpedoes with half the explosion damage and the rest is all based on this Mark 14. Sea Dragon class. Naja, anyway, but I think this is the difference between this is a killed in the open sea full points and this is I think uh, destroyed in the port, so less points. If it's now then one point less. Naja, I thought it was half points. Okay. Uh, so uh, and there was one tanker. I am very sure sunk just now, but uh, I don't know now. No big change here in my layer. Still moving. No battle here. I think only a battle in China. Yeah, the Chinese forces here escape me. I won't normally fight them, but they're running away. Chinese. And uh, here we had a battle. It was a clean victory. Okay. And the biggest battle we had here, and this was important, I mean, this was the reason why uh, I can kill all the submarines, is Manila. And Manila... The, the shipyard is always damaged. It's, or it starts damaged. But uh, luckily the light industry and also the resources have only very small damage, so maybe like 70% uh, damage, ha ha ha, because this is 100 and this is a 17. So very small damage to the industry of Manila. After the very light damage against uh, in uh, Hong Kong, I have now the next major city with only small damage. Well, of course light industry is not so important, but at least Light industry can uh, produce some supplies, and so this means normally maybe Manila can supply all installation in the future without shipping of supplies to Philippines. For uh, not too much, at least. And it, I can uh, build up the the shipyard. I don't really know if I really do this. I don't know if I need really a shipyard in Manila. I never use it up to now because I have Saigon. I have uh, here Hong Kong. So it's hard to say. Then I have Singapore and I have Sorabaya. So I think I not really must repair Manila. Maybe I make it to a shipyard of five so that I can sh uh, fix every cargo ship and every destroyer, something like this. With Japan, you always try best to only build what you must build and keep your supplies uh, close or yeah, deep in your pockets. This is this destroyer normally had the task to uh, bring the cruiser back. It was a failure. Naja. At least I can bring this uh, destroyer back. And the rest of the formation is running back uh, to port because no ammunition left. Oh yeah, they have some ammunition left. Not even use everything. But half of the stock. But it's time to retreat and uh, regroup my forces and uh, also bring other stuff back. So, yeah. And here is my carrier. So, I am here now before I was not detected, but now I'm detected. So, now, unluckily, if I come maybe, because I have not more much fuel, so I cannot really operate uh, in, on high speed, so... I was hoping if I can be maybe here, and then I get detected by the by Cooktown and other uh, Catalinas, because normally the Catalinas have a range of 15, so normally this is the range. Here I was uh, expected to be detected, but then I could normally move in before here any cargo ship is fast enough to run away. But if I get detected so far away, then there's no surprise more. Now I can still use my unit to suppress every shipping. Not kill them, but suppress it. So make sure that uh, nothing can move out or in of Port Moresby. For at least some time, I normally uh, waiting that I... Because Rabul is still so far empty, only army forces are here. Yeah. 
and I have no base force here. So I must ship some stuff to Rabul if I have a base force here, if I have supplies here, supplies I have, but no fuel. Then I can bring my carriers here to Rabul and reinforce them. Yes, at least they need um, fuel. Or I can go back to Trupp, but this needs a little longer. We will see. So, nothing more happened. And now here in Manila, I still unloading troops, so I still not have uh, Most important is I have Manila now, and uh, I need one week to unload more troops. Here's my light cruiser. With this 500 pound bomb. Making only... Uh, small surface damage, no heavy damage, so easily to fix. But my torpedo launcher gets destroyed. Ah, naja. Yeah. My carrier force is here. Unluckily, I normally had also my torpedo bombers to attack, but they don't want attack somehow. They, hmm. they don't want. I have here no torpedoes left. I'm also very short on sorties, so I don't can normally operate more too much out of my main carrier. But I can always use the fighters normally to uh, cap, because a cap is not a sortie. Uh, only a strike is a sort, sortie, so cap is always for free, more or less. Must be some calculation for co fuel consumption or whatever. So no damage here on the carrier, so I still can operate here a little longer. This is my other formations. Uh, must return. I can now bring them together. Here's one ship, a little, uh, but it's only a small destroyer, so I don't care too much. But of course, I want him back. This is a uh, better destroyer. This I want for sure back. Okay, so I bring them normally back here to the base, and then I pick up the last destroyer, and then I can move uh, here. And normally, if I can open, open. My light carrier is now here, in dock, and fixing, and I have, uh, because I had this, uh, the six inch, I think five or six shells hit the carrier, but uh, all of the damage it needs is only, like, roughly, you can see three weeks, now only 17 left, 17 day, 17 days are left. And then the carrier is already ready to operate again. So, very small damage compared to this uh, many shells hit the carrier. Maybe I was with, lucky with the carrier and unluckily with the cruiser. Uh, better, better this. Carriers are simply really far, m especially this carrier is a really good carrier. So, more I don't have to say. Thank you all. See you. Bye bye.